Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again. We're in the forest. We're gonna see if we can get the new worm mutant to appear and see what kind of damage it does. But before that, we're gonna be walking through uh, our big base here for it to destroy. Now, almost all of this was built legitly. Uh, we have a giant house. Uh, right side is my side, left side is a friend's side. This is a multiplayer world, so yeah. That means uh, if I pause or go into my book or backpack, every uh, time still goes on. And all the uh, pillars out to the big lighthouse tower were built legit as well. The only thing not built legit was all the wall... Uh, not all the you know, all the walkways, the giant tower itself, and I believe that secondary base was built uh, legit. A few more things to show before this place gets ultimately destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Up here, we've got more walkways all these were built legit except for the double high one that was built with mods and if you can see in the distance we do have a giant uh, claptrap thing not sure if it'll load in if it does then awesome if not then oh well Uh, if you can see into the woods, we have just a couple of traps. <laughs> if the warm monster appears and is affected by traps, well, we've got everything out there, so it will be uh, dealt with. So with that a little small tour out of the way, let's go ahead and swap you on the red mode. And get it set up. Now I've tested before. And the best spot to stand and snipe. Is out in the water. All the enemies like to come right up to the shore. And you can shoot them. See how long it takes for enemies to appear. Because I did use mods, I do have unlimited gun ammo and unlimited flare ammo. Yep. Here they come. We need to put traps, like, right there. Hey, buddy. That was easy. All right. Now, it will be a little bit before we see <laughs> if there's the traps being really effective. Ah, he ran away. It will be a while before we see any mutants, I think, because they just travel slower. If they spawn at the same time these guys did, then they have some distance to travel. <laughs> Good job. Ah, come on. Gun is not too easy to use. It's a little bit slow, but it's the best damaging item I have. I don't have the crossbow or the modern bow. Got that guy. Alright, so... I'll do a jump cut soon. Let's just see if we get any mutants in the next couple minutes. We'll jump cut to when something interesting happens. Take that. Why are you... Ah. We had the face tribe up against the... Just gray tribe. Okay.
the head wobble. Ah, uh, I'm bad. No mutants yet. Up, oh, I'll lie. There's Virginia. Ah, uh, did he just duck for that one shot? What a cheater. You just Mr. President did Virginia. Go that way. One down. These guys, though. <laughs> More cannibals on the way. This corner has claimed many a victim. Ah, oh, he moved. Any other mutants? Come on, dude. Just fall. Thank you. There you go. Call for more. <laughs> right over his shoulder. How am I bloody? Come on. Oh, wait a little bit longer. There we go, headshot. And then I'll get some food from the smokehouse. No sign of a warm guy yet? Yeah, call more. Maybe I should leave him alive. So he keeps calling for more. Ah, what a cheater. <laughs> I say that, but look at me, I'm just standing here sniping. They can't get to me. Wow. Didn't he get hit and he was just unaffected at all? What a cheater. Ah, he ducked. Now right, let's go eat. Nom nom nom. Right, come back here. I'm not done with you. I think he was the one calling for more. Not sure he was too effective. I don't know what that one painted guy is doing here either. Ah, oh, come on. What if I just used the keyboard and mouse for this? I'm only standing here shooting. There we go. A 
little bit awkward with how the frame rate is. Ooh, two for one. Ah, he moved. Grr. A bell jump kit to when something is actually happening. Alright, it's a new day. FPS is low this morning. Hopefully it gets better as, you know, there's less god rays trying to go through the world. Uh, yeah, I'll cut to something interesting. Alright, just building up a bonfire to attract more enemies. Oh, hey there. If you guys don't mind me, I need these logs. One more to go. You guys can have the other two. Poke. Okay, now we wait. I reset a majority of the traps, so I don't need to get through quite the wall. Or just go around to the right of everything. Poke you. Wow, he, he really doesn't care that he just got shot by a bullet out of a gun. It's just like, yes, do it. End me. I don't want to be with these guys anymore. It's like, do it, I dare you. Nah, let me think of it. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Why won't he attack or run around or do anything happy like the other cannibals? Shut up, game. There we go. That guy's just standing in the fire. These guys are smart. Those guys just ran through one of the traps. You during the man's take that. Yeah, we have an RMC. Come on, where's the wormsies? I don't know where the RMG is attempting to go, but his tries have failed. You guys are smart. Ooh, I either got him or he ran back into the fire and got hit again. Got him. Here's coming in Virginia. Good job. No, oh, that was easy. Ooh, looks like we have two cowmen. Don't do it. Olay. 
Rip. Yep, definitely have two coming. Almost got me there, buddy. Oh, he turned around. There we go, got him. He's in the water. I'll just take his grippy armor. Because apparently I lost a piece. I don't think I missed him. Must have hit him sometime. There we go, I got him. You're smart. Grr. Take that. No worm yet. Hmm. Take that. Just make sure that's gonna stay late all day. The small one seems to have died. Good job. Ah, oh, he ran away. That was a good shot. Ooh, you have a tennis racket. Give. Oh, I already have one. Never mind. Rip, rip armsy. Ah, oh, rip arm she. It's good to see that these things actually got something. Cannibals are fast enough to just run right through them if they're going at full speed. Oh, I'm out of sticks. Should be enough sticks. Not getting any more uh, cannibal activity. I think I need to skip night, and we still have a while yet in the day to go.
Hmm. I guess I'll jump cut. I don't see any <laughs> anything else happening here today. We haven't gotten any enemies in a while, so I'm just gonna go up here and finish my hang glider. And I'm pretty sure what's happening, Heather, is that the artifact up in the big village is also affecting how mine performs. So I'm gonna go up and grab it. And if you haven't seen how the hang glider works yet, or, or how to get it, I suggest you see Farket, Broadbent, or Zuma Arcade. They'll all give you the info you need. For now, though, let's just worry about getting up to Club Trip. When you hold the hang glider, it makes parkouring a lot easier because you can actually float a little bit and jump up a little bit more. Also brings back a little bit of the classic mountain goading. Or I might not be able to get it at all because I'm bad at the game. Alright, so I need to watch out. These are all... This was built to be an endurance run. You had a limited supply of bombs. Uh, it's what you could make. Plus what you could get from back here. It was meant to be a multiplayer thing, but my, none of my friends have been up to doing it yet. This was all modded in. I did not build all of this legit. Oh no. <laughs> No! If we're on fire, that makes us pretty much stop. We need to get this out quickly. So that we don't get eaten by shark. I'm not sure if it's a one hit in hard mode. I know in normal mode you can take one and not die. There we go, we got it out. I'm trying to think of the next best way to get there. Eh. Just going up the coast here will get us there not too horribly longly. I left my artifact on blue, and the artifact in the village is blue, so uh, we shouldn't have any enemy troubles. If we do, of course, we can just fly away. I believe we're coming up on the gun cache spot soon. Oh, hey there. Are you alone? Oh, you really don't care. There we go. That was easy. Poke. Didn't go through the world. Woo. If you fall into a tree, one time I did lose my uh, hang glider. Whether it fell or just went up into the sky to infinity. I'm not sure, but I was never able to find it. 
should be careful about falling face first into trees. I mean, that's just it's a way to get yourself hurt and die anyways, but, you know, be even more careful because this is not a cheap thing. Uh, eight rabbit fur, that's the big one. Eight rope, if you don't have rope already on you, that can be costly. Uh, sticks, needs 31 sticks, so two trips worth of sticks, even with the stick bag. Yeah. Huh. Alright, uh, yep, we've got a few things here. I believe this was the marketplace. Yeah, we've turned the main village into Detroit. I don't know what Claptrap is supposed to represent, but we've got all your classics. Rundown houses, broken buildings, bad jail, horrible law system. <laughs> This was a mushroom farm, I think. Rocks to beat people with. Oh, you have a school. I, don't, I think this was supposed to be a whiteboard. I don't know who the teacher is supposed to be, but there's a gun right there, so you better listen. Uh, this was a beautiful house with all the beautiful residents. I think this was a jail. You can't really get out. Uh... I don't know what this was supposed to be, just some house. This was a court. Where we have some poor guy being trialed. And they have a skull as the hammer. We have a little bridge leading into the jail. The joke with the jail is that it was always almost broken, so we threw one bomb in here and have just never fixed it. It's like one hit away from death. There's like two survivors. It's funny. But yeah, without any artifact keeping these guys away, I'm sure we'll see the native Detroit residents soon. Uh, this was... Our character's house, I don't know why I built the character portraits in there. Alright, let's get out of here. Where's the... Here it is, outside hut. Yep, marketplace. More blackberries. Unfortunately, there's not really a great high place we can use. I just gotta... Oh, crap. Alright. Now I gotta find a way up from here. I'm sure we can. With the little bit of extra height and jump length we get from just holding the... Uh, hang glider, it shouldn't be too hard. I 
I would not jump off of the coast because of how difficult it is to get the thing back. Because in case we lose lift suddenly, yeah, that wouldn't be too fun. We can, however. Oh, hey there, guys. We can. Jump from here. Just mock these guys. Hey there, guys. How you doing? Bye, losers. Can fly by the boat. We might even make it all the way home. Maybe not, though. Not out to sea, though. I'll nosedive to avoid falling into the sea, if I need to. Right on a bridge. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and park this up top. Or maybe park it on the roof. Yeah, there we go. No. <laughs> Alright, well, the only way to get it on the roof now is to probably jump from the hill over there. Oh well. Yeah, that'll work. All the mannequins are for the Claptrap army. If you defy Claptrap, they come for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hit something and now I have to try again. Empty. Come on, we can do it. We can have it parked on the roof. I know we can. Maybe jump off the mannequin. Can I do that? Eh, kind of. No. <laughs> I don't stay on very well. Of course, it's not designed for this. There we go, we got a little bit more height, and we actually ran jump. So now, we can nose dive onto the roof. Oh, come on! How? This game's controls are flawless, I must say. I'll give this one more try, and then just give up and leave it where I land. <laughs> but yeah, today's mission of find the worm has failed. <laughs> At least for now. Alright, we got too much height jumping off of you. Just gotta run jump from here, I guess. Alright, I'm fine with losing a little bit of health to get you where it's supposed to be. So yeah, if we need to I get up here to grab this and fly away from an attack, we can. Ideally, we do it from the very top of that. Let me see how high that is compared to the uh, tower. Eh, ours is just maybe one little tower thing too short. Ouch. I don't know what is in these gardens, but they're not growing at all. I've been in this game for like five in-game days and nothing has happened. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the rabbits onto the food racks and 
never upload this because nothing happened. Yeah. Alright, it is taking a long time to get this monster. And none of these have grown anything. I think they're bugged. I'm going to rebuild them. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> uh, this world is beautiful. Let's see if we can whole cutter these things out. Nope. Uh, we do have some logs. Maybe I can build a three log length one. Thing of where's the garden? Hmm. There it is. Four? Okay. Uh, we do actually have more logs than just three. Or I, I would if I didn't do that. Alright, one thing I've noticed with the game update, and I'm not sure if it's just because I'm on a laptop, uh, is uh, when... The day begins and ends, uh, it tanks to single digit frames. Now whether that has to do with the way enemies are loaded up then, you know, so that they can attack you during the night or during the day, or some other resource allocation error, I do not know. So yeah, hopefully we actually get some berries now, because we've been low on blueberries forever. Anyways, let's just go to sleep. We can do it in here, and I'll keep my hunt open for the worm monster. Alright, I have rebuilt all the traps, I've rebuilt the gardens too, and I have a plan. Instead of one red artifact, how about two? So let's get one of you right here. One of these artifacts is my friend that he left at the big village. I went back and retrieved it, so let's use it. You can only hold one at, at a time, so that's why you gotta do this. And now with this one picked up, they should start coming. And now with both of them in the ground. Aw, oh, come on, game. It's playing with me. <laughs> I can't put it in the ground. Oh well. Uh, it's red. Here come the guys. Well. Getting some weird frame starters from the game when they activate traps. Hopefully that's just temporary. Let's get up top and shoot from above this time instead of staying and sniping from the water. Because I... Truthfully, did get the worm creature once, but it was at night, and I died, and I didn't want to use that footage. Because <laughs> it was pretty bad. I shouldn't have died. I didn't even die to it. I died to an RMG breaking the bridge, and I fell. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so far... I see some traps have been triggered. I saw a couple of people running around, but yeah, none of these traps have been triggered. Come on, guys, where are you at?
I should try to use this. This is actually a very well placed turret. Here they come. You guys gonna do anything? Am I invisible to you guys? What happened? Why didn't you try to growl at me and go grr? Shoot them in the back of the head while they're down, that's fair. I play with the controller normally. Hey. They're dead, but okay. <laughs> What's happening? Why are they so... One, why are they so not numerous? And two, why are they so not trying to kill me? Oh, come on. I was right on you. Sounded like someone died, but not really. What are you guys doing? I'm up here. I'm clearly visible. The thing is red. I'm making noise. Where are you guys? It's just been the same three or four cannibals. There's you. Oh, come on. You walk right into that. Right, there's some mutants. One of them died, I think. I think it was mutants anyways. Pretty sure you're dead. You know what they should add now that they have a wrecked ship? They need to have a handheld telescope or binoculars. Because real seafarers use them all the time to see where, whether there is another ship or land. Come on, game. Wow, we're getting no activity. <laughs> I guess I'll see you if anything happens. Alright, we have another beautiful day of low frame rates. Let's see if we get anything uh, not terrible. Maybe I should light a fire. Because other than the red artifact, a fire is the next best way. No, oh, hither. Is to is the next best way to bring enemies to you. I try to build it out of the way. Gonna take your friend out of there or no? I mean, I don't care either way. <laughs> he just left his friend there. Now he gets him out. Come on, dude. He just left him too.
Grr. Fire cannibal. We actually have somebody now. An RMG. Can't tell if there's anybody else. Two RMGs. Yes, yeah, run into the invincible effigy and die. Good job. There we go. There's so far the first and only hit on the base. There's useless cowman. Yay, bring more people, please. Let's get this bread. Are there skinners here? Grr. Ah. Uh. He just trampled his own... Oh. Oh, crap. What did that? The... How many can destroy stuff now? Okay. Oh dear. Ah! Oh my gosh, Cowman! <laughs> when, since when could you do that? Oh my gosh. Oh my god.
Good job. Well, other than Cowman being a monster at destroying stuff at incredible speed now, um, that was wildly successful. <laughs> okay, I've pretty much given up. Um, <laughs> I've tried for like 20 in-game days. Each in-game day is 20 or so minutes and nothing. So, mod API time. Let's go ahead, get ourselves good distance into the forest and spawn it. If it doesn't come right away, we, we will just go ahead, put on the ting. Uh, maybe up by the big tree. Mutants. Worm. Okay, and now... Get over here, worm boy. Let's go ahead and light this too, because why not? Get everybody over here. Let's see how quickly this base can get destroyed. And let's see if we can see... The damage coming our way. There's a cannabula. Don't walk right into the fire, you idiot. What? <laughs> there we go. What a beautiful creature. Alright, I've somehow got some render distance issues. I guess it's because I'm not on the highest preset. I'm on the medium preset. Let's go ahead. Turn down my player speed so I can actually uh, walk around as normal. Alright, that RMG. I didn't spawn that. Well, literally everyone is catching themselves on fire. I do have God Mode on, but I'm going to pretend like I don't, so I'm still going to try to avoid being hit and stuff. Good job. Good job again. I definitely spawned the worm guy. Where is it? Yeah. 
That fire is being extremely effective. I'm not sure if it's in just the right spot or if they just really love it. You're on fire. It doesn't matter anymore. Worm buddy, where are you? Good job. You're running into the fire, hello game. Thank you. Oh, come on. Alright, what, what's going on here? Wormsy? Buddy? Where, where, where are you hiding? Huh. I don't know where he could have gone, but just in case, let's do that. And respawn it. Hey, hey, you're here. You're not despawning. Welcome, welcome. Let's see, let's see what you can do. All right, so they're not really affected by traps. They can get in the way, it seems. Looks like one of them found the fire and jumped over here. Looks like a number of them found the fire. Looks like they all really love fire. What are, what are you guys doing? Let's get rid of that. I don't want all of you to just die. Wormsies. What are you doing, buddies? Okay, they're f finally forming up into something uh, you would be afraid of and formidable.
Okay, let's see what kind of damage you can do. No, he killed the effigy! Nothing can kill that! Well, let's re uh, regroup and I will set my speed back down to normal. So yeah, just a couple of steps. And it was ready to go. Let's try to repair it, as we probably would in a real game. Don't think it destroyed anything. Okay, its most destructive form seems to be its three legged walking form. Thankfully, now, I can set the time to be not awful. There we go. Alright, destroying all the walls in nearly a single hit. Let's shoot it to get it out of its form. Of course, the more dangerous enemy we had to take out first. Does not look like it's gotten to the tower over here yet. Attack! Ah, <laughs> yes, that worked! We got it with a catapult. That was beautiful. Catapults seem to be pretty effective. If you need to have them anywhere, this would be a good spot to have them, right out of your base. No. <laughs> we would have gotten significantly hurt there. Here it comes. We gotta get to the top of the other one before it gets here. Worms go flying absolutely everywhere. Look at how many there are. They must be multiplying to replace the ones that have died. Why is it deciding to try to group up over here? That's where, like, none of them are. Bye. Almost. Alright, so if you have a lot of walls, it does seem to keep it from entering your main base pretty well. Because when it's just worms, it doesn't seem to uh, have the strength to break anything. But like this, ooh, there goes that wall. That was a dive bomb, not just a body slam for pinpoint accuracy. Is it going to try to regroup into the same thing? Or is it going to try to do something else? Okay, same form. What's it going to do, though? Breaking more of the wall. Defensive wall must be its primary target, like fire seem to be the primary target of normal enemies. I think it's going to form its tower right now. Or 
Maybe this is a new form. I don't know what that is. Nope, not enough, I guess. They just need to break th through that one wall. I think that's what it's trying to do right now. It did a big swoop and damaged all of the wall. Again, my goal is not to kill it. You can do that pretty easily with just a little flamethrower out of a spray can. The goal is to see what it can do, what forms it has, and how destructive they can be. It seems like if you have the defensive wall plus the defensive spikes, they have a very difficult time uh, breaking through all of it. The defensive wall spikes are very expensive, but it looks like they could be worth it. Taking down more walls. Slowly taking them out, not on any great scale, so they can keep the ability to form up. Right now they're moving extremely quickly. Bye. <laughs> Although worms get flown everywhere, they seem to be able to regroup pretty quickly. Just one or two big jumps. Looks like it's trying to make a tower. That one wall is really giving them trouble. Let's see if we can break it down for them. I might just end up killing one or two of them. Let's get rid of that wall. Go is to see what they do, not uh, have it just be inhibited by one wall. Although I may have killed like all of them. may sound strange, but I think the Cowman can do more damage more quickly. It hasn't had the courage to build up into its three-legged form again. No, I didn't. I thought I was going to land someplace safe. Let's try to rebuild some of this. This one needs a lot of hits. There, come on. It should still be enough pieces to form into something.
They're not actively trying to attack me. Hmm. They seem to be vulnerable to a single hit from a 99 strength character. They're not forming up. Let's go ahead. Do this. Okay. That's a good thing to know. Uh, if you see a worm Z hitting kill all enemies, does not work. I guess they're kind of like the babies. They work on a separate field. I'm killing them now because they were not regrouping, so I'm gonna kill them all, spawn another one, and see what it can do to the rest of the base. And see if it can go out into water for any length of time. And take out one of the offshore bases. So, do this. Oh, I got flung. Let's try to get up high so that we can see what it does. Alright, it's grouping up. Those things came flying from across the map. Three-legged beast. Yep, there we go. It takes a while for it to get into its three-legged form. That's its most destructive form it by far. If you try to kill something, it seems... Or if you kill one piece of it, it seems to default to flying mode, then to tower mode. Wow, it got rid of all the rock walls instantly. Hitting a tower seems to make it fall apart. It's time to regroup into the same thing since nothing's died. There we go. You can see it's got three or four spare pieces. All right, when we were up that high, we lost, it lost sight of us and started to walk away into the forest. Ooh, there goes that wall. But when we came back onto the bridge a little bit, it did see us. It walked right through that log. Okay. Up oh, there goes that one. Time to retreat up top. And there it is again with the... Uh tower gets destroyed it gets split apart I don't know what I guess it's because the tower falls onto it doing some damage to it because if it's like a roof and the roof falls on you you get damaged or die All right, again with it trying to walk away on us got rid of that trap like nothing it fell apart again you can see Right there at the blade of the axe, that's where it wants to regroup. It's too far away. Now it's just regrouping over there. Not sure what it's trying to form into. Triple, nope, flying mode again. Seems kind of far away unless it really wants to get at that one wall. Maybe, it, no, I destroyed the fire. Maybe that's where the artifact is and it's just trying to attack that. I don't think it can kill the artifact, but eh, you never know. 
Okay, so that's pretty cool. It formed up one leg, and that one leg ran to the other piece all at once. All right, there goes those defensive wall spikes. All right, I thought for sure we would lose this tower this time. Apparently getting at a great height is a good way to uh, lose enemies. I mean, it makes sense. It's like, ah, uh, hell nah, he's too high up. I ain't going up there. That's a massive tower. What's he going to land on? Huh, nothing. Let's go back down here so I can see us. Alright, flying mode once again. Wonder if it can land on itself and kill one of its own pieces. Kill other uh, cannibals and mutants, so maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that the environment time stays the same. Whoa, that was a long swoop. It damaged even this thing. There we go. Bye. Oh my gosh. All I did was the speed of time, not the actual time. <laughs> well. Even though there's a few pieces over here, it should still have enough to form into something. I know I only killed one. How many pieces has it thrown off to infinity? Oh, they're all stuck in here. Would you look at this? That's what's up. Alright, I'm not sure if that's a bug or what, but that seems to be an effective tactic. Lead them to a tower and pieces get stuck in it. Alright, here come more cannibals. What will it do to the cannibals? Will it attack the cannibals or will it uh, be with them? Alright, it's using the flying form a lot more. Still got plenty of pieces. I don't know why it's re I'm defaulting to that now. Alright, there goes a whole wall piece. Seems to be unaffected by other enemies. Don't really care much about the cannibals, they don't do too much to us. Oh, bye. 
unless one of their uh, shenanigans leads to them accidentally meleeing a piece to death, don't really care. That comment, though, I am going to take care of. Because he can do a lot of damage. Uh, sense this update. Like that. Now we can just one shot everything. Now come in, got hit by something or other. Got Virginia. Let's see this. <laughs> it's just killing them better than I ever could. Oh, hey, this old bug. I killed a piece by accident. Oopsie. Now right, come on, let's see if you can kill... These... Yeah, oh my gosh! A swoop can kill all of the opponents. That is beautiful. Did you just set yourself on fire? Come on, game. I've got one piece by accident. Another piece by accident. Got him. Okay. He won't hurt us anymore. This guy, though. Watch this, watch this. Oh, I thought it would get him. Come on. Alright, it's back in his tower form. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, flying form once again. I'm way over here. You gonna try to swoop in or pinpoint dive? Let's try to stay behind cover, see what it does to the, to the cover. Got rid of it pretty good there. I really do wish it did more damage. Alright, here we go. Three-legged form. I know the turtle! That would have hurt me. Run for cover! No! Just like that, the whole house is gone. The only survivor was the hang glider.
So yes, if it does penetrate your defenses, and these were pretty good defenses, uh, your base is gone. Pretty much just like that. What are you going to do? Big swoop. This is the only safe place left. Quick, get all the food. I wonder if we can stay in here and hide. It's still attacking outside regardless. Lock ourselves in. Even though it can't see us, it's still attacking all the walls outside. Meaning if even if you abandon base, Chances are it'll likely keep attacking it if it doesn't see and chase you. Alright, it's still trying to take us out here. Shield ourselves. It's the only way. Oh no! It's found us! It really can just find you wherever you are. Doesn't matter where. It'll destroy it in a few hits. Maybe it'll attack the fire by accident and burn itself to death. I hear it's flying. It's still really determined to uh, get at all the walls and such. SOS, our only hope. Plane, help. There it is, destructo time. Huh. When that one bonus piece went to join, it fell apart. Okay. Can defensive wall spikes even be repaired? I don't think so.
Okay, it's still around. How big of a gap was that, I wonder? Let's see how you handle two towers built on top of each other. Do I have some logs back? It's still falling apart when it really shouldn't. Maybe the defensive walls and the spikes really do affect it in more ways than one. There's an odd place to try to reform. It was right next to me. Maybe it does that to get some distance on purpose. I want to see what it can do to uh, a separate tower, a really tall one. It falls apart again. What piece got lost? Because it seems unable to reform. Maybe that's what happened. It just flew a piece off to infinity and it was never able to return. tower form seems to default to this whenever it gets uh, low in uh, worm count let's see if we can lead it back to the base Yep, tower again. This must be its close range attack. I'm right next to it, so it's defaulting to it. Alright, if I run away some. I guess you can repair these. It's just been one-shotting them, I guess. Alright, what if I try something here? Uh, where's no item consume? Here we go. 
Crush bow. A stick bag. Crush bow. Alright, so we can safely declare this base completely destroyed. What if we go in with a chainsaw? Okay. They're all dead. What I'm going to do next is come up here and spawn it and see how it can fare into water. I don't think anyone's ever tested this. We've seen it be able to form up by that water, but that's not very deep water. We can walk right through it. Worm buddy, it flies us all over the place here. All right, so to form up. That was the last piece it needed, I think. Come on, game. Alright, here's a flying form. Here it is raining. Oh wow. Did some significant damage to a houseboat. I'm gonna be on the bridge ready to flee when it destroys a piece. No warm buddy, I'm over here. Come on. Follow me. Let's see how you do in the water. Terraform. Okay. This is a... Uh, Pretty tall tower form. No pieces have drowned. Why do you keep running away? I'm right next to you. 
You killed a turtle. It's a hero, not a villain. Seems very intimate about um destroying walls. Alright, as we found out from and before means we can kill all enemies. Uh, I guess there was an RMC, but not anymore. We can kill all enemies and have it not kill the worms somehow. Must have been an RMG. Up hither. <gasps> Likes to take out corpses like nobody's business. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, it's pretty far out into the ocean. But now, I threw a piece all the way to land so I can regroup on land. Maybe that's a weakness. Some of the pieces do seem to have gotten lost in the ocean. Will that keep it from forming up? Nope. like it should have taken out that tower but okay okay there now I'm on your level what are you gonna do about it that's disorienting More flying. Okay, now it's taken out the tower. Or the second to last tower. Last bit of wall for this side. How about over here now? There's still a lot of walls you haven't broken over here. Alright, destructo form. When a spare piece comes in to join, it interrupts it. I didn't do anything there. It must not be flawless, so they're not uh, very well cooperative with each other. It does form right back up, though.
All right, I don't know how it broke apart that time. How many walls does it need to break over here? It still has a few. Right, where is it going to try to regroup? There's walls all around it now. Alright, flying form. Looks like it tried to body slam. All oh, right, there's one of you guys up here. That's why I can't move. Flying form again. Yep. Alright, so I think I see another weakness. Terrain under the water can be troublesome, like coral reefs or the containers. Flying again. Where did it go? Flying again. Must be because some pieces are lost and they can't get into the walking form. Now what? Tried to get into a walking form, but fell apart. All right. Let's try something very unlikely. What if multiple worms are around? Will all the worms go together to be one huge beast? Or will they all be their own separate entities? We got three things forming up. Four things forming up. Worms cannot seem to damage other worms even if they're not a part of their uh, structure originally. There's just a lot of Gloobly -lee bits. This isn't a fate you want to see. Four crawlers and a flyer. Yep, this would be mass devastation if more than one of these ever came to your base. Alright, there we go. The last tower is gone.
Okay. I might try spawning one more to see how it does in the deep ocean. Did some more damage to the houseboat. What about the next one in line? I wonder if that's one of their abilities, if there are uh, multiple uh, things. They try to group up into the same things. To go one at a time. The issue I am faced with now is they're not wanting to come all the way out to here, except for that one. That doesn't count, though. I'm definitely sure that I've lost some, and there's no way to just kill them all. I'm going to go ahead and spawn one more. Let's see what it does. One with the shark and two in the deep water. Will it try to instantly go over to one of the land pieces? Or will it try to attack me? It is trying to form underwater, staying underwater for a significant time. Alright, it's just Staying over there. Although possible, I think it would prefer to stay on land rather than cross water. So I think if you have an island base, you are safe. No guarantees though. I guess we can finish off the video by having it destroy uh, the light tower and another one destroy the clap trap. Huh, there's a dead piece or something. Yeah, right, come on. Huh, they're staying in the water. Okay, if uh, they get spawned on an island, even though they're on land, I was definitely in sight. They were in a tower formation and tried to attack. Huh. There's a number of dead worms. Let's see if we see one die under the water here. 
if they do uh, eventually die underwater, that could be a safe strat. Lead them to water. I think I have a theory of what happened, why they all ran from the island all the way back to the mainland. Uh, one of them was calling for pieces to group up into a forum, and they sensed that and came all the way over here. So, yeah. Because, yeah, none of those attacks are killing the worms. Poor turtles. I'm gonna go ahead and exit the menu so that we can get our world back. And we will load back into uh, the save and finish off with it destroying the Claptrap Monument. Shouldn't take too long. We will have all of our stuff back, so hooray. All right, there we go. Increase player speed. Form up the clap trap. And now let's go ahead and spawn the worms. Five should be enough. Oh, bye. Or right, it would be enough if, you know, half of a worm just didn't go to do that. Alright, the fire and bomb traps seem to be effective. Yep, Molotov traps are extremely useful. Alright, but here we go. Here's the damage form. Thank you. 
All right, if you've expended all your munitions on that, on big size, this world is pretty big. Maybe I should share it. But I can't seem to destroy stairs too well. Alright, we have the tower inside uh, the battle arena. Battle arena is defensive wall and two layers of rocks. Made so that not even cowmen could escape, but I don't think that's true anymore. That was pretty terrifying. It landed on a Molotov trap and half of it was on fire as it attacked. <laughs> Look at the wall pieces, they're still just solid chunks. Oh my god, the frames. We lost one Claptrap support. One must have been the leg claptrap support on thing. Claptrap is defeated! How could this happen? It's still breaking up. I bet you I'm completely out of RAM recording this. No one thought it could be done, but Claptrap is gone! They're going to be here for a while. This is a field day for them. All this uh, stuff to break. Right then. There is one more claptrap in the world. It is at the main village. Main village is far away. But yep, here it is. This claptrap is in a different location. It is in Detroit. <laughs> it's got no uh, protective barriers around it, though. You're just supposed to hail it. Let's see how well it holds up. The other one had a single support, and once the worms found it, uh, they went right for it. Now, I don't know if it's because I was right there, or if they can track which support a building is held up by. I don't know. <laughs> but let's see it take out Detroit. <laughs> One worm piece got stuck in the prison. Alright, so because this is the cannibal village and the huts are non-breakable, there will be some trouble for the flying forms. Take out the school, no! And the prison! We have an SOS, but Claptrap's covering it. It doesn't want people to escape. What's gonna happen to Claptrap? Let's go up and go down with the ship. Oh my gosh. 
My speed is too high. They took him down. Ooh. Quick into the mushroom hut. The shady dealer. What are we gonna do, man? They're after us. Where's your door? Why don't you have a door in this place? This is an illegal place anyways. We gotta run, man. Here, take some armor. We're not safe here, man. We gotta go. Here they come. Actually, yeah, all the non-breakable uh, hut pieces do interfere. We have two destructive ones, one flyer. No! The shrooms and the drug dealer have died. <laughs> I wonder. Nope. Okay. I was wondering if the repair tool could damage them like how it can damage birds. But nope. Oh well, that's gonna do it for this video. I think we've observed all we can with the mutants here. If you guys enjoyed, do go ahead and leave a like. Favorite, comment, share, and of course, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Gambrell, and we'll see you guys in the future. Woo!